So here we're going to use the division tag, spelled D-I-V. We put that inside its own tag. Normally they sit on their own line. We have opening uh, div tag here. We open angle bracket, type in the letters D-I-V and then close the angle bracket to represent the beginning of the division. We then put the child of the division tag and the uh, the division being the parent and whatever sits inside it being the child of that parent. Uh, it's a hierarchical structure which shows you that the paragraph tag is one level lower than the div tag and belongs to the div tag. Um, and it normally uh, is true that the div tag will contain other things inside it. Um, and in this case, the paragraph tag sits inside the div tag, creating the division. And then we close that division out with the standard HTML format, open the angle bracket, forward slash, div, and close the angle bracket to represent that this division is closed. And this, if we put this on the screen, on the left-hand side, we see the, the text uh, written in the editor as you would write the code. On the right hand side you see the output and clearly you can see here that there is no difference at the moment between writing something in a paragraph tag and writing something in a division but divisions are containers hence the word division and they are very very useful and you will see that really come into action um, in later videos but this is a just an introductory video to HTML. So the divisions allow us to group the HTML tags together. They allow us to differentiate, differentiate. They allow us to differentiate areas of a web page. Um, and this becomes very, very important when you want to build up a web page and build up different types and styles of pages with complicated layouts and we will see that in the coming videos html provides pre-built elements html has many pre-built elements and html elements are the bedrock of almost every web page today and we've seen this with paragraph bold italic division and there are many more um, this is just this is just an introduction to html to get you started and you'll see that html is very very much the bedrock of displaying things to the user and in interaction and we'll see that very soon html works with angular and html works with css and we're going to see this and we'll see this come together and how this rich tapestry all creates a very, very unique and rich experience for the end user.